story, amigos. This is Pino with some cool stories for today's story time. Back again for AT story time. Reading out of a light in the attic, Shel Silverstein. This one is called The Man in the Iron Pale Mask. He's the man in the iron pale mask. He can do the most difficult tasks. He can duel and he can joust. He can charge, he can chase. He can climb, he can rhyme. He can wrestle, he can race. He'll show you his courage, but never his face. No matter how often you ask, he's the brave and the fearless, the usually tearless man in the iron pale mask. Shel Silverstein, the man in the iron pale mask. Yes, we are back playing Nothing But Heat. Of yeah. course, I just read some heat out of Shel Silverstein's Light in the Attic. That one's called The Man in the Iron Pale Mask. What did y'all think of that one? Heat, bro. Heat. You like that? Yeah, man. Another like one. Be the man in the Iron Pale Mask. You like right? to be that man? <laughs> Maybe we all are the man in the Iron Pale Mask. We just have names and we just don't wear an Iron Pale Mask. <laughs> <laughs> but truthfully, we are all... I wouldn't say fearless yeah, or tearless, but we all do have an obstacle that we are all trying to overcome, Yes, which is taking that iron pill mask off. Facts. Okay. You know, I feel like the whole thing about the story is that though you can do all these things, you can do all these great things, but if you can't conquer that demon you have within, it don't matter. So now, because they just look at you like, I don't even know who's doing that. You could be doing all this stuff, but all I see is this facade. It's almost like you can win against everyone else, but if you can't win against yourself, then you still you lost. Lose, you still lose, man. And that is the days. You know what I mean? That's what happens in the days. They get you to this viewing and this perspective of, damn, I might be winning, but am I really winning? But you got some caught up, jaded perspective, you know, and then you might actually need, then you actually find out soon after. He was actually losing the whole time. I feel like that's an L. And I feel like that happens a lot when you have a whole bunch going on. You have a big workload, man. I feel like it's easy to get lost in that stuff. Have you, has that ever happened to you? Like, I feel like it could have easily, but... It happens all the time. We all... We get lost in it. We lose sight of the original no, intention. We forget why we doing what's motivating us the most. We just start doing it. I, I mean, there's times where I'm working on a project, I forget the original feeling, the original importance of why I'm doing what I'm doing. I just get caught up in doing it constantly, day to day, week to week, months at a time, and you start to forget, lose sight, and that's when you lose it. Yeah, yeah, man, I feel that's scary, dog. But I feel like, I mean, how do you take the mask off? Like, how do you really catch yourself and how do you stop, how you catch yourself from losing yourself? Because everybody's, oh, it's almost like the days is always in effect trying to get you to, to slip and lose yourself. But how do put you- Put on the mask, put on that facade, put on that regular life, put right, on that, right. all of that. But how do you, how do you curb? How though? do you stay true? Because you've been, real. you, you like, <laughs> yeah, you about it right there. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we all go through it. Yeah, at right. At the end of the day, we like, as we said, we all go through that. But trying to reveal ourselves, trying to take off the pale mask, the iron mask. Right. It's heavy. Yeah. It weighs a lot. But, yeah, but it's obviously comfortable. You know what I mean? It's so, comfortable on there, but it's not our it's true. Familiar. It's not our true self. I don't think right. it's comfortable. I think we just feel like we need it. Yeah. You don't necessarily need it. It's comfortable. Yeah. It's protective almost. Yeah, it's, it's safe. Yeah. It's safe. Yeah, you got that saying. mask on. It's, it's, it's familiar. Safe. Yeah, something you know. But you got to take it off sometimes. And that's what it's about, taking that mask off. You right. gotta, you mask gotta come off. Outside. <laughs> Fuck it, mask off. I you got to come outside. Like me, personally, how do I deal with it? I got to ground myself every once in a while. I'm, I'm prone to... I sacrifice everything. I cut everything off long periods at a time. I don't go home when I'm up here at school. I might one or two times. I love my family. I love my nephews. It's mm -hmm. part of the reason why I'm doing it. I love my homies back home. Them is my brother. But 
it's it's that that keep me grounded. It's those trips going back home. It's kicking it with my homies, AT and Lot. Yeah. Grounding myself. We chop it. Them last semester, the meetings of us just chilling, chopping right. it, talking about life, working through it. That's that's what helped me get through it. It really? gave me a refocus. Give me insight into why I'm doing it. And that's yep. at the end of the day, that's almost what we need. We all need a place where we can go or something we can do to get back and kind of reveal our true self and really look at what we're doing. And that's back to like, we can do things individually that allow us to take off the iron pail mask mm-hmm. and allow us to move forward and kind of progress and get to really revealing more and more of ourselves kind of thing. So at the end of the day, everybody's trying to do that. Whether they feel comfortable or, or safe doing it is another story. So yeah. I feel like everybody has to find that that out that outlet, man. Everybody has to find find that that way to that way that that the action or or that that interaction with somebody or doing something, whatever it is, that gives them that strength to take off the mask, though. You know, because very true, man. We all need it, bro. For sure. Yeah, man. Another day in the days, as we like to say. Just trying to conquer the current workload. What have y'all currently been going through as far as workload? What's it been looking like? (laughs) You can can hit on with that, bro. I'm taking, right now, this is my last semester. I'm taking 16, 16, 17 credits. You know what I mean? I got my senior thesis exhibition. You know what I mean? April 16th. Soft plug. Come out. CVA. Yeah. But I mean that's that's the epitome of what I've been doing. I've been focusing on that for the entire semester. Been working towards that for the last three, four years. Right. And that's what it's about. So I mean I gotta balance not just my thesis show, that's its own demon in and of itself. But I gotta balance two other studios, three other classes. Mm, God. And trying to be human and sleep. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep and eating. Fuck that shit. I feel that, man. That'd okay. Shoot, man. How about you, Lock? How the work mean, load been? I just been it's it's been it's been what it is, man. You know, trying to maintain, trying to expand. Cause I got to a point where I was able to maintain and sustain what I was doing. Right. And I felt like I wanted to do more and find a way to to push myself to another level to to include more. You know, in my daily life and what's going on, because I'm not, I'm not in school no more. I graduated, so I got a full time job now. But I'm still out here doing, trying to stay busy, trying to stay active. You know, so it's just, just a vibe, man. Just trying to balance it all. You know, trying, like, like you said, trying to not get caught up in the hustle and the bustle and everything, and just trying to just stay grounded. You know, so that's the main thing, bro. End of the day, that's what it's all about. Finding our balance in the days, trying to push through, trying to take on a proper and appropriate workload because everybody is different in the days. Everybody's days is different. Everybody's workload is different. Right. So it's just really knowing yourself, revealing yourself to the people and revealing yourself in the days. It allows you to push through, I guess, and conquer your own personal days. Back to the vibes, back to the heat. What you coming out with up right now, man? Joey Badass Time featuring Chronix. Oh. This is one of my, as of recent, one of my favorite songs. Um, classic right now. This collab, this this collab right here needs to be a project. So if y'all hear this, Joey Badass Chronix project, collab project. Right Where it at, though? I'm looking for it, so where that though? What's that? 